everything here has been checked and, and double checked to make sure that it's all you know, mammalian product free and, and safe for me to eat. Christopher hasn't left his house in six weeks, except to go to hospital or to see his doctor. He was bitten by a tick and suffered a severe anaphylactic reaction. I need my EpiPen bag with me at all times. So I've got my EpiPen for the anaphylactic reactions. I have um, antihistamines, which have been proven not to have animal products in it. And all of this because of a single tick bite. Yeah, exactly. His condition is called alpha-gal syndrome, named after a molecule passed into humans in tick saliva. It means red meat and potentially mammal-based products could trigger a fatal allergic reaction. My face and my tongue began to swell. I began to feel a sense of just complete overwhelmedness. My throat had begun to constrict. I stood up. There was a, a wash down to my feet. I, was, I fainted. Temporarily, I woke up, became conscious on the bathroom floor, um, and at this point in time, I was feeling unable to breathe. And it's really important for you to raise awareness because you think there might be potentially thousands of other people who have the same syndrome and are undiagnosed. We're actually being given advice which is often detrimental to us. We're getting offered medications which have mammalian byproducts. Where you get deer, you'll get ticks. Professor Richard Wall is leading research into ticks and tick-borne pathogens. It's an adult female Ixodes ricinus, cast a bean tick. They sit there with their legs like this, and anything that moves across the top of them, they think is a host, so they grab hold of it. Now with the changing climate, we're seeing them certainly biting all winter, and we're seeing a gradual change in that seasonal pattern, so the risk of biting is fairly common all season round. And the greater the risk of biting, the greater the risk of infection. Yes, the more likely you are to be bitten, the more likely you are to be bitten by a tick that's carrying a pathogen. That risk is already becoming evident across the Atlantic. We know very, very little about alpha-gal syndrome in this country. That's because there is hardly any scientific research into the condition because it's so rare. But in America, they are beginning to find out a little more. They think up to 450,000 Americans could be infected. Until recently, Christopher was leading an active life. Now, he views everyday items in his home as potential threats. His allergic reaction was so extreme, it's left him fearful of all mammal products and being triggered by airborne allergens, even though scientists have no evidence to support his theory. You know, if you look in here, we've had to get rid of all the things which could pose a potential risk. So you're restricted to living in just three rooms in the house? Yeah, exactly. I don't have free roam of the house. Christopher doesn't know how long he will have to live like this. Until science finds an answer, he feels he has no choice. Ashish Joshi, Sky News, in Surrey.